Hi, this is CML Deputy Director Kevin Bomber, and welcome to this week's edition of the CML Video Statehouse Report. There has uh, not been a lot that has gone on during the uh, during this week. The House has been consumed with dealing with internal matters related to the potential of expulsion of a member, and uh, the last couple days have been tied up with that. And uh, and the Senate has uh, taken today off as well. Uh, however, earlier in the week we did get uh, some good news. The House Transportation and Energy Committee passed House Bill 1099, which is related to broadband level playing field, on a unanimous vote. That legislation requires any incumbent that uh, desires to take over a broadband deployment board grant awarded to a telecom provider uh, to do so but provide the same level of service at, a, at the same or similar cost uh, and not be able to provide sense legislation and the House Transportation Energy Committee thought so as well. The big broadband bill will be on Monday, March 5th in the House Agriculture Committee, and that is Senate Bill 2. Senate Bill 2 is dealing with rural broadband deployment grants as well. This is the legislation that would start transferring uh, in the first year 60 million, and then uh, a lot more after that to the Broadband Deployment Board for broadband grants. As the bill came out of the Senate, it had some unfortunate amendments that have kept CML from supporting the bill. We are very optimistic that the bill is going to be amended in committee to ensure that faster broadband is going to rural Colorado where it's needed without a lot of hurdles placed in the way. Those amendments get on the bill. We'll be supportive of the legislation and work to keep those amendments on when the bill goes back to the Senate. So uh, with that, there will be um, uh, March forecast coming out soon. The March revenue forecast is what the rest of the year is going to look like. We'll be looking for that a little bit later in March, and uh, as, as that gets closer, we'll talk more about it. Good afternoon, uh, Morgan Cullen, CML Policy Advocate. This was a quieter week down at the Colorado General Assembly uh, this week to begin uh, the month of March. Uh, but there were two key bills that passed out of Senate Finance this week. The first was Senate Bill 1 uh, that passed 4 to 1 uh, out of Senate Finance. Uh, and the bill, uh, it's known as the Colorado Infrastructure Bill that the Senate has put forward. Uh, the bill would uh, require 10% of existing sales, state sales tax uh, to be used exclusively for infrastructure funding. And it would also uh, put forward a, uh, a referred measure uh, for voters to uh, consider in the fall that would require um, a uh, $3 billion bond uh, for state infrastructure programs. The second bill uh, is uh, Senate Bill 167, which is known as the Colorado 811 Reform Bill. Uh, and what this bill would do would uh, create a true statewide uh, 811 program uh, requiring Tier 1 membership of all 811 facility owners uh, and uh, also uh, creates a state oversight uh, safety commission that would have broad uh, oversight uh, and enforcement authority across the state uh, among facility uh, owners and excavators. Uh, and that bill passed uh, out of Senate Finance unanimously. Uh, we are neutral on that bill, um, but we are taking uh, a close monitor uh, neutral position. Uh, and uh, we were actually uh, added a uh, amendment uh, this week um, that would uh, require this safety commission uh, to look at things like cost savings, uh, productivity and efficiency of the existing 811 program and make uh, recommendations for uh, reforms as necessary. So that was a key win for us. Hi, this is Megan Dollar. I want to talk about HB 181190, which is the continuation of a program that CML has been very much in support of. What the bill does is continue the historic preservation tax credit that helps spur uh, development and historic preservation throughout the state. Uh, we are absolutely in support of this program, and I do want to thank Mayor Phil Rico from the city of Trinidad, who came down and did a terrific job testifying in, on, uh, in support of the bill on behalf of the Colorado Municipal League as well as the city of Trinidad. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check the links to see bills that CML is following, positions, support and oppose bills, and uh, more information about the league. Thank you.